Well, it wasn't any surprise to me you were staying at the Silver Creek Lodge, seeing as how I'm your biggest fan and all. Some nights, I just tool on down, sit outside and stare at the light from your window, and I'd wonder what was going on in the room of the greatest writer. Don't move now. Wouldn't want to hurt this neck. Well, the other day when I was on my way home, there you were, leaving the lodge. And I wondered why was a literary genius going for a drive when there was a big storm coming? Luckily for you, I did. And lucky for me too, because, because now you're here and you're alive and, and you can go on writing more books. Oh, Paul, I've read everything of yours, but those misery novels, I know them all by heart, Paul, all eight of them. And you must be a brilliant man, and you must be a good man, or you could never have created such a marvelous, loving creature as Misery Chastain. Shouldn't be long now. Once the roads are cleared up, lines will be up in no time. If you'd like to give me their numbers, I'll keep trying for you. And could I ask you a favor? I noticed you have a new Paul Sheldon book there, and I was wondering if I could, if it wasn't too much trouble, if I might. Oh, thank you. You'll never realize what a rare gift you've given me.